Man, oh man. I'm talking about matriarchy celebrating your differences. But you still have individual choice, individual freedom. That's the beauty of celebrating your differences. Now in matriarchy, you know, women live longer than men. And they stand more pain, they have more endurance. You men don't, do not know pain, you've never given birth. You know, the women of the world, they're the givers of life. They give life. We take life. They're the givers, we're the takers. They live longer than us. So it's just by natural selection, we follow the woman's lineage. Because when we die in our shorter lifespan, we want our wife and children to be among her friends and relatives. Now us primitives all around the world, indigenous people are matriarchal by and large. Hugely large, I mean, you know, over 90%. And there are none that are patriarchal, they're quasi-patriarchal, but still directed by matriarchs. Nevertheless, that's fine, that's picking apart like college, like academics like to do, like to pick things apart, you know, they're never satisfied. You gotta pick things apart because the language is so limited. But that's another issue that one of these days I'll go into. But I want to talk about this positive, this positive change that we need. You know, if we do not make this major change, then there isn't any hope. Because look at the history of patriarchy. The history of patriarchy is in reality the history of empire. Patriarchy demands poverty. It demands it. And it demands slavery. It demands a well-to-do slavery, like the merchant class and the, and the uh, middle class, so-called middle class, so that you'll slave the majority part of the day so that the rich can get richer. And you will slave for them because you do not want to end up in poverty. That's the reason I don't care what kind of political system the male creates, they still need poverty. There's no egalitarian society possible in patriarchy because it's a market economy. People have to be rich and people have to be poor and you've got the slaves. Now there's a professor From back east, I think Pennsylvania, but don't quote me on that. But he's already ascertained through studying indigenous people. Now, you might misinterpret this because who wants to listen to a born again primitive anyway? And that's what I consider myself. But the fact remains that indigenous people, to fulfill their responsibilities, it takes about two hours out of the day. You and the rest of the scientific, progressive, uh, fantastic, technological world that you live in, takes a minimum of eight hours a day for the slaves to fulfill their responsibility. Another reason I'm a born-again primitive so I ask you to 
take a look at matriarchy. And we will be looking at that very soon. The next weekend update. Dokshaake. I hope to see you again.